Hello YouTubers, Don Rusnak here, Arlington, Virginia, Banjos in the Basement. Uh, I'm going to show you some alternative claw hammer right hand techniques. I'll call them exercises in case if you ever want to branch out from always using, you know, your index finger or some folks use their middle finger. Over the years, I've kind of, you know, been able to learn uh, to use them all, uh, especially using my, my ring finger and then using my index finger for the inside strings. But um, some of my students have asked me for, um, um, you know, techniques to practice on to, um, uh, to enable them to do that if they want to. It's... It's not uh, within uh, what folks would call the purest or the traditional uh, way of doing it, uh, which is usually index. Um, down, down, up. But over the years... Um, been practicing this little finger and then ring finger and then middle That's one, one, five, two, two, five, three, three, five, four, four, five, and back using all those fingers. And any combination of that, down, down, up. And you'll notice that um, it's, it's a matter of bringing in your fingers this way. There's not too much other than that movement just you're bringing your fingers in the width of the string those are single string single string single string and of course you can uh, when you practice this you can do single string strum Then work your um, your drop thumb in there later on. But this is um, an alternative. You don't have to do these things. To uh, you can stay within the style that you're comfortable with. But uh, for me, I like to see what's capable, what I'm capable of doing. And over the years, um, I can use any of these fingers as the dominant, the melody driver. And then if I decide I can bring my index finger, other fingers within that. So try that. And then um, and that's outside the norm of, uh, of a traditional uh, uh, a way of playing it. So anyway, um, I will be... Um, doing more of these uh, outside the box um, uh, right hand techniques and then um, I also would like to broach the subject some of my students have have asked me what uh, what claw grass is and Mark Johnson who kind of coined that term um, uh, when I first heard that um, I thought I thought before I I heard him play it or got the album or interviewed him, I did interview him. Um, I thought that it was going to be um, 
trying to play bluegrass licks, um, uh, Clawhammer style. Uh, but it really wasn't that. It was uh, the title of his, his album uh, where he uh, played Clawhammer to a traditional uh, bluegrass band. So I don't think he was trying to play uh, the bluegrass licks and things like that. But that's what I thought. Anyway, I'd like to broach that subject um, at, at another video, and I'll probably do that. So anyway, um, try that for a while. See where that goes. I usually, I don't often use my my pinky or my ring uh, um, I mean no not my pinky but I use my ring for the first string and then it just allows me to bring my, my index finger for this bass bump bump is a, a 1909 tubophone maple. Okay, we'll see you on the flip side and maybe we'll discuss uh, um, claw grass. All right, thank you. Oh, subscribe and ring the bell. <laughs> so I'll be trying to do these a lot more. And I'm an eclectic teacher player, um, so I can do the uh, traditional and, and teach the traditional stuff, uh, which we all start out with. But uh, as more of a, uh, an individual player, I've um, kind of experimented with what I can do with uh, claw hammer and old time and, and mixing it up. So uh, if you've already seen some of my videos, um, uh, like the one I did 13 years ago, Crossroads, it's, <laughs> it's a, a different bag. Um, anyway, we'll uh, see you on the flip side. Thank you.